Hey everybody, welcome back to another DieCast review. This is Chase Elliott's 2014 Chicagoland Race Win Elite. This is from the Nationwide Series. This was his third career Nationwide win. And we'll roll that off to the side. So standard Elite box. Inside, we've got the standard black box, but this is just the gray sleeve over it. Chase Elliott, Chicagoland win, one of 175 Elites from that year. So, I'm also going to pull the box open, show you the... Um, the goodies or extras that it comes with. Um, a lot of them are just kind of pointless little things that, that um, not pointless, but they're just kind of weird. So, ticket, uh, congratulations, you're a winner. I actually did win one of those ones. I got a gold ticket. Uh, Lionel, it was even within the, the uh, time frame, and Lionel just not never responded to me. They told me to mail it in. I mailed it in, and they never sent anything back or acknowledged it. So, uh, it's a bummer, but, you know, it was just a standard free die cast, so... I'm sure I've done enough business at this point that it doesn't matter. Elliot conquers Chicago competition. And then comes with this confetti, even though none of it hit the car. And then we've also got this card here. Din number 21 of 175. So I got a pretty low din. Uh, I've got actually three of these. Not three of these exact, but, the th but all three of his 2014 uh, race win elites. And the funny thing is I got pretty good dins on all of them. So just kind of one of those oddball things where uh, I got din 4, din 21, and din... I think one of them was like 70. But let's get on to the die cast itself. So I did a review earlier of the ARC. Came across the Elite Online. Wasn't going to pass it up. And I am so glad I didn't. These things are awesome. Down the left side, look at that blue paint. First of all, the Elite has a better coat finish on it. Um, I don't know if it's just a better clear coat or what, but that paint looks fantastic. Absolutely stellar. The clear coat is spot on. This car is gorgeous. Uh, we do have a mirror sticking off the left, uh, the post there. Uh, the post is black. The window net also um, can come down. There we go. Come on out. Don't be shy. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, what the heck this thing is doing it's not wanting to come out for some reason there we go well whatever the reason that was inside we'll just pull that down and kind of give it a look inside here for you there's a seat steering wheel uh radio wire all right all right let's see if i can get a chance to focus in here on the seat that's horrible i'm sorry for that guys there we go there's our interior not too bad not too shabby at all so that's the interior there and then we'll just put that window net right back up the way it should be. I don't know what the deal is. It doesn't want to come out that way. So I guess you have to put this one in first from the front and then the back. Yeah, that one in perfect. So anyway, down the rest of the left side, Napa Auto Parts. Great clips, some other ones there. Underneath, there's all the elite detail for the underneath of the chassis. You can see that it's our uh, burnout tire kind of chewed up. Little speckles and spots. DIN 21 right there. And, uh, yeah, this is just a gorgeous car. So let's look inside the rear. Um, there's our um, fuel cell, brace tether, all that fun crap that they add on. Um, oh, no, I just had crap go flying off my desk. I'm trying to set a CD down. Uh, and it's gone. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, when I was 18, that was that commercial from Dale Jr. and Bill Elliott. So down the right side. And the other thing, look at these rear suspension. This thing works really nicely. I mean, really, really well. Um, so down the right side, let's focus in here a little closer. Napa Auto Parts, you can see he hit the wall, scraped it up just a little bit. That's all supposed to be there. Uh, burnout took off a little of the corner panel. Other than that, we got rubber marks all up and down there. Two antennas, uh, two radio, one of the shorter ones. Not really sure why they did that, but they do have them on there. Um, down the rest of the right side, we just got the Nationwide logo. We got Nationwide up there on the windshield. And there's our Camaro front end. Pretty clean. Not a lot of rubber built up to it anywhere um, specific. And you go under the... And there it goes. All right. Well, that was a bummer. Trying to pull the hood open. My camera tipped over. Again, bloopers are fun. I'm not going to record it twice. It just takes up too much space on the phone. So your eyes are just... Uh, you, you see what you get, you know. Bloopers. <laughs> um... Anyway, yeah, here we go. This is the uh, the engine detail here. Pretty good color. Uh, we've got individual plug wires in there as well, braces and tethers alike. Um, so that's all in there. And then you close the hood and you just get that beautiful blue uh, Napa. I mean, just, man, they just nailed the paint. And then they come out this year with that blue and ugh, terrible. 
So, uh, yeah, fantastic, though. But this, this car overall, as a whole, is just fantastic. I mean, it has got great detail. It's got, you know, little details. you got that Chase Elliott up there on the name rail with the Twitter and Facebook logo, or just Twitter logo. But, you know, we got details overall. Um, and let me know how you like this new camera. I just tried it out, and it seems to be really smooth when I move but it doesn't focus quite as quickly. Um, but it does seem to do a pretty good job of making sure I get a good picture out of it. So, um, you know, I'm not really sure 100% on if I'm going to keep it this way or not. But uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a good like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, we have 138 subscribers, so doing really well. I know a lot of, I've had a few requests to do a diecast tour, uh, see all the diecasts I've got. Um, I have a good chunk of them. But I don't have enough shelving, so a lot of these end up in boxes. These, these don't. I have a lot of these, uh, a lot of my favorites are out on the shelf, but I have a massive box of Casey Kane's paint schemes that are not race wins or standard from each year in a box. So um, I only got his race wins and his standard scheme from every year out, and the rest are all boxed up. Um, I've got some more that are boxed up. Um, a lot of the special finish ones are, are in a box right now, and... So, yeah, I mean, I will do one, I hope. Um, I just need to find a chance when I can uh, get them all out and find a place to put them for a quick video because I right now just don't have enough shelves to do it and I don't have enough room um, as I'm currently sharing a house. So um, if I get my own house or get moved into an apartment or something where I've got a little bit more space of my own, um, you know, then I'll probably do one for sure because I'll be able to spread these things out and uh, have plenty of space for them. But... Um, for now, I will work on trying to find a solution to do a quick video. Um, if not, I'll do a half diecast collection, and then uh, we'll do the full one later. So, uh, Anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, uh, make sure you do that, all the thumbs up stuff that I was talking about earlier. Uh, this has been Race Craze. Thank you very much, and we will see you in the next video.